All right, well, I've tested out the clipping circuit, and you can actually see it work here. When I'm talking, uh, it's not lit up, which means it's not clipping. But if I give it some silence, then it clips. So it's supposed to remove the noise when you're not talking. And it does seem to be, it does seem to be doing functionality, what you wanted to do. Um, I'll play some audio clips now. Okay, this is a test without the clipping circuit. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Now we'll turn the clipping circuit on. This is the test of the clipping circuit. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. The only problem is you hear a click. So you can hear there's an audio, uh, audible click uh, when the thing fires. So I think that's, that's fixable. Uh, there is a design error in the circuit, though, that uh, yeah, it, it does function, but it shouldn't function well. <laughs> so let me show you. I'm, you know, I'm disappointed that my viewers didn't point this out when I laid out the PC board. But uh, let me let me show you what the uh, what the error is. Uh, so this is my clipping circuit. Uh, there's a resistor and then a an end channel fat to ground, so very low resistance to ground. So uh, the audio will normally go through here unless you turn the fat on. That it'll clamp it to ground and everything gets quiet. Now I made some other adjustments. I put in a, a resistor here so you can soften the amount, uh, you can lower the amount that you clip. You don't clip all the way to ground, maybe clip halfway or clip a quarter of the way or something. So I, I put that in there. It doesn't matter for this problem. Um, so the problem is, um, how does this thing get driven? Uh, it gets driven with a 10K resistor to plus 15. So that turns it on. Uh, so no problem with that. And that goes into a uh, LM, an LM339. So the LM339 uh, drives this. And the LM339 is open collector. So inside, uh, inside there's, a, there's an NPN transistor that pulls things down to ground. So that's great. So normally it's on, and then when the comparator fires, it turns it off. So everything logic-wise works just great. So I thought, oh, I'll, I'll be clever. I'll have an LED that says when it's clipping. And that's where I ran into trouble. So I said, oh, okay, well, uh, when it's on, then I have current flowing. And so what I'll do is I'll put a, uh, I'll put an LED, I'll put an LED right here. So normally the LED is on, normally this thing is on, and then when this thing fires, it turns both of these off. And that works just great, it works just perfect. Okay, so here, if you wanna pause the video and try to figure out what's wrong with this circuit, um, go ahead now. Okay, so the problem is, this is a 2N7000. And if you look at the data sheet, there's a data sheet of uh, all of the curves for this thing turning on for each gate to source, each gate to source, gate to source two, gate to source five, gate to source 10. Um, so whatever voltage you have across the, the gate to source. Um, so you'd like it pretty big and I've got 15 volts. So, wow, I mean, I'm gonna turn this thing on hard. That'd be great. Well, I've got this diode in here. I've got this LED. So this is gonna, this is gonna limit the amount of voltage into the gate. So if the volt, uh, forward voltage of the diode is, uh, let's say two volts, I'm only getting two volts into this gate. Um, so that's not very good. Um, anyway, uh, I think I can just fix this by putting resistor, a resistor here, or I could put in the, I could put the LED in, I could put the LED in here instead. So, uh, that might work, but anyway, I need to fix this. I think for the circuit board, the easiest thing to do would be just to add on a resistor here.